Let's prepare an invoice within our QuickBooks software. Within QuickBooks, there are three ways to prepare an invoice. The first, which we're going to talk about here, is to prepare an invoice from an estimate. The second is to prepare an invoice from billable time that has been entered into QuickBooks. And the third is to prepare an invoice from scratch. Let's come here to the Customer Navigator and let's prepare an invoice from an estimate. Let's click here on the Invoices button. Here, let's pull in our customer, Renee Barley. QuickBooks immediately pulls up any available estimates that are in the system. Let's select estimate number 37. Next, QuickBooks gives us three choices that we can do with the estimate when we bring it into the invoice. We can invoice the entire estimate at 100%. Or we can come here, the second choice, and create an invoice for a percentage of the entire estimate. This is excellent for progress billing. The third choice, this is the most detailed choice, allows us to create an invoice for selected items or for different percentages of each item. Let's choose the third choice. Here, we want to leave both show quantity and rate checked and show percentage checked. Down here, the first four columns shows us what was on the original estimate. The next three columns show us anything that has already been invoiced. We have not invoiced Renee yet for any of this bathroom work. So these are blank. And now this column, these next five columns, allow us to edit this, as this invoice. Now let's start preparing this invoice. Let's come up here and let's progress bill for half of the time that it took us to remove her old cabinets. We'll come here and we'll click on this cell and type in 2.5. Here we can change the rate, amount, percentage, and total percentage. Let's also bill for the entire custom cabinets. And let's not bill for any of the third line. Now let's click OK. And you can see how QuickBooks brings in the amounts that we've billed on this invoice. Let's click the To Be Printed box and let's select Save and New. QuickBooks has now recorded this sale. Let's go look at Renee's customer balance. Customers, customer job list, and now you can see Renee has a balance with us of $2,800. That's the difference between estimates and invoices. Invoices update the general ledger and the financial records. Estimates do not. Now, let's prepare a second invoice to Renee. Let's use the same estimate and let's select the third choice again. Here you can see that QuickBooks is showing us what we've already invoiced. On this second invoice, let's invoice for the balance. 2.5 hours and our two doorknobs. And let's click OK. Now we have invoiced 100% of the two estimates that we provided to Renee for her bathroom remodel. Let's click Save and Close. And that's how to prepare invoices from estimates.